Right, I can snipe this chap over the top of Cassidy. I think we're going to go for it. If we crit, we have a 50% chance of doing so. We'll one shot the guy. Hello, guys, and welcome to a new sponsored Classified France 44 video today by me, Vulcan. In this one, I'm going to be taking a bit more of a deep dive into the campaign and the tactical gameplay. If you'd like to get your hands on the game yourself, the game is out now available on Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. If you click the link in the description, you can go ahead and buy the game and jump straight in. But let's have a look at what's going on in the campaign here. So two of my men are currently on tasks. If you press T, it will switch over to the tasks here. And there are multiple tasks that you can do. In this case, we currently have King on an aid faction which is going to enable me to get more experience with the criminals and therefore level them up to level four in order to unlock the car 98k and the icon dagger uh, the icon dagger i'll give to trembly so that he can do more damage from stealth and we will be giving the car 98 to bellinger uh, so that he can uh, do more damage basically we will also need more supply though because my supply is currently very low uh, we have Blosh. He is currently just training. Uh, I do generally prefer to use uh, Willard Cassidy as my main leader because he is higher level. And just as a personal preference <laughs> as well. Uh, but in this case, you can see that Willard Cassidy does have the Mad Minute passive skill unlocked. And this basically makes it so that when you fire your weapon, it doesn't end your turn immediately. It allows you to use any remaining AP. Really, really handy. Uh, I also have the fire and move on Tom King, which is slightly different. It gives you plus three AP after killing an enemy with your primary weapon. So yeah, kind of handy as well. Um, Trembly, he's got a really nice skill that I picked up recently. He's got the Stealth kills do not produce noise. So we're going to try and use that in the mission that I demonstrate today. Now, in my own campaign, I am quite a bit further on. But I thought this was a really nice sort of save file that would allow me to show off multiple things that are going on and, and give us a, a good choice of missions and so on to look at. You can also see we do have the Fel Gendarmerie walking around. They've been chilling in Normandy for a little while, which has been making it uh, less ideal for me to complete the smash and grab mission. As you can see, that is currently increasing the enemy level by plus one because of the Fel Gendarmerie are there. Uh, now, you can disrupt what these Fel Gendarmerie get up to and other enemy units by using FFI tokens. You can see that we can receive FFI tokens uh, from getting loyalty from one of the factions, which requires the like basically the max level. So you get that later on and you can sort of stop them moving around. You can stop them from uh, like raiding a region and uh, making it have less strength and stuff. Uh, but we're currently on, on our way to getting Normandy and Ile de France up to maximum strength. And in doing so, we'll unlock the abilities. Uh, in this case, I want to go for the allies gain plus 10 morale damage early on because it really really helps you with some of the more stubborn enemies that you'll be bumping into later in the campaign so that is certainly something to pay attention to but today what we're going to be doing is probably jumping into code breakers because this mission is getting the plus enemy level from the fel gendarmerie and these two don't give as much experience as this one does uh, this one you can see gives 1000 experience these both give 900 experience the secondary objective also gives an extra 100 experience and the code breakers rewards are really really nice so let's go ahead and click that and we'll read the briefing a lysander was shot down while flying an agent to france the germans took a list of contacts from the wreckage and are holding it at a fighter base recover the file before it gets into the hands of the code breakers so we need to retrieve the encoded documents kill enemies with explosives, and kill the Federal Gendarmerie reinforcements. And our reward would be airborne pants, which will give extra dodge to whoever's wearing them. In this case, most likely um, Cassidy, um, I'll give it to. Uh, morale recovery and maximum morale. Now, clothing does have a specification. 
you can see it has a gender specification and it also has a nationality specification. So you can only give it to American males in this case. Uh, there's also the trench gun. This would be a great weapon for Tom King because it applies bleeding. Bleeding is a really nasty status effect. You'll bump into more the later you get into the campaign. Basically, enemies can also inflict this onto your men and it means that you take like one damage at the start of your turn. Now uh, this can be incredibly oppressive in uh, really, really like violent missions, like in the assault missions. So do bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and select Casti, Bellinger, Tremblay, and Alami. They're all going to be different um, specifications. So we got our leader here, we got our sniper, we got our stealth specialist dude and our machine gunner uh, ready to go. All right, let's jump on in. We are going to be getting some Gaullist faction XP, which is fine because my Gaullist faction level is only level one. So by getting an eight experience from this, it will level them up, um, which will unlock some extra stuff for me to use. And the other nice thing about picking this mission is I can show off both the stealth and combat mechanics. We have to recover those plants. If the enemy decode them, many of our comrades will die. Basically, in this we have three kills that we can make before we enter into an ambush turn. Now, one thing I will say is you can take your time in an ambush mission. There isn't any need to go around killing everyone immediately. You can really make sure that you're in a good position before you trigger an ambush turn. And that's something that's really, really important in these kinds of missions. So, for example, in this case, I'm probably going to just leave this guy to patrol around the outside here uh, because there's more important people to kill inside, like this Vashimiega sniper. Getting rid of him would be really, really important because he can inflict Mark on one of our guys and in doing so will make our chaps uh, I think more likely to be crit what's up I think we also have mark on Bellinger oh, no I don't have it unlocked yet but he can get it as well anyway another thing to bear in mind in these missions is there's these arrows now, I don't think this is something that is shown off in the tutorials but these arrows are super important to pay attention to because they show the direction in which the enemy is going to be moving or facing. In this case, these are all move ones. So he's going to be walking in this direction. He's going to be walking in the left direction. He's going to be coming down here. This guy's just standing still. There's no arrow. But some of them, they can also get like rotational arrows as well, which will show you which direction they're going to rotate in if they're just stood still. All things to pay attention to. All right, anyway, let's get a move on. Um, we will select. Yeah, probably we'll out here and we'll go and cut the fence. I don't think the noise will be in range of these guys, so that should be fine. And we have bumped into a new enemy type. So, nice thing about this game is as you move on, it does introduce you to all the different types of enemies that you're going to be bumping into. In this case, a Fashion Mega Medic. He drops uh, a med kit on death. This is probably the most important thing to bear in mind. It's really, really useful. And uh, he can also heal enemies. So dropping the med kit on death is really handy because you can go pick it up and use it yourself. So where you kill him is actually somewhat important as well. Uh, we're going to just move him through the fence here. We've got to remember that this guy is going to be turning around. But both of my chaps here are currently in bushes, which means that they won't be spotted. I might open up another hole in the fence here. Moving out. So that we can spread out First a little course. bit more. Because when the ambush turn happens, we're going to be wanting each mm -hmm. of our men to be able to engage another enemy. Uh, we'll forward. just move into this bush here. Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn. Get to cover. And we now have a reinforcement timer. I believe that will be until the Fel Gendarmerie reinforcements arrive which is uh, our secondary objective, which we have to kill them, which will be quite difficult. But we will try and complete all the side objectives. It's always good to do so in order to get that sweet extra XP. Now, if you can't remember what uh, skills your chaps have, you can see them on the right here. So, for example, I was pointing out how Willard Cassidy has the Mad Minute passive skill and that 
shows that that's available on the right side there. It only works for the primary weapon, so if I melee kill someone, I can't move afterwards. Uh, but I do want to kill this guy, so what we're going to do, we're going to do it with this chap. We'll sneak in behind him and kill him. I'm just checking the noise. It should be fine. Take this. He's not turning anywhere, so he's not going to turn to the right and spot this. All right, meanwhile, we can just go and tuck ourselves in behind the car. The medic is turning around. So we've got to be careful he doesn't spot us. Uh, for Trembly, I'm tempted to come to the left here. But this guy's going to be going up. Which means he might spot us if he goes to the right after that. This guy's going to be continuing up here, probably turn around. Hmm. I might just move in to the right for now then. Sami, he hasn't got much in the way of action points, so he can move up next to Tremblay. Okay, let's see what happens next turn. So yeah, I've wiped the patrol speed up to max, that way we can... Everyone will just move a lot faster. If you're going to get spotted, there's no real way to avoid it anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter if you are playing it super fast. Uh, the main thing we're going to want to do is get Bellinger out of the way because the medic's coming down. I should be safe to move here. I'm here. <laughs> They're just like hiding behind this chap. He's just completely oblivious. Um, how else do we want to do this? It's becoming a bit trickier because everybody's heading back in this direction. There's no real way for me to hide. You want me? Yes. Actually, what I might be able to do. Yeah, we can get him into that Even bush. Shh. I see him. Very nice. And we're also introduced to another enemy, the Improved Heavy. So you get introduced to the Heavy pretty early on, but this is the Improved Heavy. Uh, covering Fire deals high morale damage and attacks Disrupt Overwatch. Really does a lot of damage if you get caught out in the open, so do not get caught out in the open. Uh, let's just get into cover here. I am very tempted to put one of our chaps up into this tower. Especially, like, useful for dealing with the reinforcements here, but we've got to get these documents first. So that's probably the priority. I might have time to get back in the tower afterwards, and if we can, we will. Just got to bear in mind that if you go up into the tower, you've also come, got to come back down from the tower. Because this is our extraction route over on the right hand side here. Whenever you jump into a mission, it's always there's two things you should always really try and pay attention to is any pickups nearby that you might want to use. Particularly the case in like uh, assault missions, medic pou uh, pouches are a lot more useful. And it's just generally because you take a lot more damage. And then the extraction route where you got to go to, to leave. Some missions you don't extract, you just like kill everyone. But uh, the ones where you do have to extract, you got to pay attention to it. I wonder if I can use this MG. Because that seems like a really, really nasty position. Anyway, I'm going to go shift up behind the car with the rest of them. Staying close together like this, kind of risky because of grenades. But I don't see any grenade guys at the moment, so we should be fine. Alright. Don't feel like you have to use all of your action points every turn. It's really not necessary. Particularly in an ambush mission when you have time. And we are going to have our hand forced a little bit here, I think. Because the position we're in right now is uh, kind of risky. And yes, we can use that MG. So that's interesting. 
Hmm. So what I'm thinking... We are going to want to take out this guy. Uh, I can plant a grenade in there. It will also affect the morale of the guy outside. Unlikely to damage him, but... Still get the max damage on the guy inside and fully break him. So that is an option. Yes. We can easily kill this guy with a melee attack. Yes. Unfortunately, we won't get an ambush turn. Qua? Hmm. We also need to do the kill enemies with explosives, so that's why I'm I'm somewhat tempted to just go in now. So we're kind of in a good position to do so. Mm -hmm. I probably just lob grenades Watch everywhere. Although I Too do want to close. kind of save fire. a grenade to kill these chaps when they come in. Yeah, I think we just select Bellinger. We do a melee attack here. And that will make everyone aware of us. Which is fine. I'm just gonna grenade people anyway. At your service! Grenade! We're getting the kills with the explosives. Yep. The medic actually has more health, so we're just gonna have to dump a grenade on him. Poser! Super! And we'll definitely dump a grenade in here. Drag out! Granate! Move in while they're pinned! Wonderful. Enemy! Now that is a grenadier. So we're gonna wanna spread out now next turn. Fire! Too close! Flankenzischen! Ich kämpfe weiter! Hmm. <laughs> he just Wait. put Overwatch on <laughs> our chap here. Oh? First things first, I need to get rid of this guy behind us. What's the plan? I can mark a target. I will want to mark the grenadier, if anyone. I have seventy-eight percent chance to hit this guy from this position. What? I think we're going to use What's our sniper cooking? boy what? to do this. Oh, move more. Because we can one-shot him. Make sure he's gone, because that's super important. Otherwise, he's just gonna be flanking me the whole time. What do you now, mean? the other thing we need to do is figure out a place. You want me? You want me? Where Friendly I can fire. engage. Is that Too gonna close. friendly? Mind your fire. Friendly fire. I think both of those are gonna friendly fire, aren't they? Too close. Mind your fire. Kind of awkward. Yes. Friendly fire. Too close. Mind your fire. What I can do. Friendly fire. Is fire at this. Ah, he's pinned down. Flank him. And that might also in the guy below. Uh, we can take a shot here. That's actually 88% chance. Eat red, you nice. Oh! Okay, What's cool. Up? That also broke the other guy, and we can still move this guy after firing, which is why I did that. So, don't have to worry about this guy firing at us because he's broken. So, I, in fact, I'm going to move over to the left Moving here. Out. And this guy start Moving over here. Oh, 
We just want to make sure that we're not getting hit by the grenades. Moving out. We need this true. You're aiming too close. Twenty-six percent chance. Thirty-three percent chance. Like I might as well give it a go. Okay, that'll do. Here comes the grenadier. <laughs> the point blank shot. Ouch. Auf zu zittern und denk an deine Ausbildung. That's a close one. Reiß dich zusammen. Reiß dich zusammen. So sterbe ich nicht. We? Oui? I can snipe this chap over the top of Cassidy. I think we're going to go for it. If we crit, if we have a 50% chance of doing so, we'll one shot the guy. Okay. He exploded after death because grenadiers, they drop uh, grenades on death, but what do you we're need? in cover there, so it's okay. You're aiming too close. I think the best thing we need to do here is actually just move close to this window. Friendly fire. And blast this guy at close range. Roger. He's in my sights. Oh, he bit the bullet. Très bien. Nice. At your service. I wish I could hit both of them in one go with the morale damage. I'm going to move over here. We're going to overwatch this direction. And I'm going to shift Willard out of the way. Next turn, the enemies are coming in. So maybe I want to grab the medic pouch here. Hmm. We don't have Got a it. medic. We're getting that now. Better than Move later. The code breakers are here. Don't let them get the documents. Enemy sighted. All right, here comes the third gendarmerie. Enemy prepare. Oh! At your service. They didn't really stay close together, so they make things a bit awkward for us. This guy is a intel officer. He's quite yep. scary. A 76% chance to kill that other guy who's in the spawn. Wait! What's cooking? I'm low on ammo. Hmm. You don't have to go for the documents just yet. Too close! Mind your fire! Oh? You want me? Right, mark that target. I'm gonna take the shot at this guy though. How'd you like this? Oh, nice. He bought the farm. Yeah. What's up? And we'll be able to run into cover. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I could probably just overwatch. Might actually be okay. Taking my sector. Can I help? I'm thinking of just grenading him. I think Grenade. that's the best idea. Deckung. Actually, I probably should have moved into cover away from this guy first, but 
It's okay. Moving. Move up a little bit. Take the shot in this direction. Yeah, we'll at least break the morale with the machine gun, so that seems fine. Friendly fire. And we can also break the morale here. But let's not do that. Moving that, we'll out. just go ahead and jump in like this. Sie so we have some Flanke. cover. And then oh, we can fire away. Flank him! I'm dry! Gotta reload! Mach das is aufhört! You have to sit down and think on an ausbildung. Right, he didn't move, so not able to take him out, but he's still pinned. I'm thinking we could probably just move here, or mark, sorry, he's still marked. He's going to take full damage, and he's down. Okay, good. Right, let's try and snipe this guy. Uh, would the chance go up if we move closer? Should do, right? All move more. Perfect. Attack! On the mitre. Très bien. The sniper that he has at the moment, the Leon scope, is really good. Reloading. Let's reload. I am low. Do on I have ammunition. a grenade? I do need to kill somebody with a grenade. Next try. <laughs> I'm low on ammo. Yeah. Can confirm. They're pinned down. Flank them. Just gonna keep them pinned so that we can move forward with Sammy and uh, get a grenade on target. Wait. Oh, move more. Ich werde flankiert. I just want to guarantee the kill, so we'll just grenade, grenade this guy. Ah! He's gone. Belly up. Nice. That's one of our objectives complete. Reiß dich zusammen. Reiß dich zusammen. Ich kämpfe weiter. Uh, we can, I think, finish this guy off if we just shoot him. Okay, ready, aim. Nice. Oh. So I just used the pistol there because it was reloaded. My clip's almost empty. Oh, move more. Yep. All right, we'll keep this guy pinned. Actually, my clip is almost empty. Just too close. Can I maybe do that with? Yep. We're just gonna reload Reloading. his gun. Yeah, line out. of sight. Roger, he's pinned. Get on his flank. Just run up and stab him. <laughs> Moving. Sie greifen meine Flanke an. Ah! And me too. That's a humdinger. All right. Now we just need to grab the intel and get the hell out of here. Mag's almost empty. Moving. Job's all done. There's our route out. I have left Sammy in a little bit of a sticky situation over here. I have no here. But oh, move more. Hopefully, we can just get out. I'm move gonna it. move back behind this car. I'm low on ammo. Have Sammy. Oh, sorry, not Sammy. Uh, Ballinger, oh, get behind the car as well. What's the plan? Moving out. He can out. just run as far as he can. The reason I'm setting them up here is just so that I can cover myself on the way out. Because we'll probably want to dump some rounds into them to break their morale. We don't have to kill anyone else, we just need to extract. So, let's move on to the next turn. We'll probably get to get some nasty reinforcements coming in. And me repere! So this guy, he can inflict bleed. For me. This ain't how I die. And you can see when there's a heavy there. That can uh, 
definitely help pin us down. So yeah, the slash when it infects and inflict bleeding, like a close range, can be really nasty. Empty. I'm probably going to want to move a little bit and actually Moving. dump some rounds. Down. Flank them. I must reload. I'm low on ammo. And same here. We're probably going to want to throw some rounds in this direction. Sure. Taking the shot. Move in. While they're Keep pinned. pinned. Last round. I need a refresh. Moving out. Behind the heavy cover here, so we can get a more accurate Eat shot. Lead, you bastards. That is fine. We can snipe that guy behind cover from there. Let's do it. Oh, bon nice I'm critical out. as well. Snipe. Fire. Too close. The main thing is just getting Sammy towards the exit. I am recovered. Good. My clip is dry. I'll move more. Move him as far Next away as try. possible. Moving out. Move it. Get our uh, chap away from the car because he's damaged. I'll move more. It might be an idea to move enough that we could reload as well, but that's fine. Stark bleiben. Weiter kämpfen. I have to reload. He can Moving. get into there. All right, we're out. I gotta reload. Moving. And this is one thing I really like about it. this game is just Moving how out. you don't have to I kill everyone. It's not your objective. Your objective is to just get the uh, documents and leave, and we use a little bit of suppression onto the enemy to stop them from like following us too closely. Like that's really really cool. I think like the idea of the morale system in this game is just is really really nice. And if you caught my last video, you'll see how I do very regularly miss 99% shots. But that is a heroic victory where we managed to receive the documents and complete both the side objectives. Gives us 1,700 experience and 50 supply. All of our chaps are going to be taking a little bit of fatigue. I think Sammy was already at plus one fatigue, so now he's at plus two fatigue. When I was in college, we played Army at Yankee Stadium. One of the toughest drag out games I ever experienced. But I remember the pregame. Coach Layden whipping up a frenzy. The fighting Irish ready to kill those cadets. Listening to the code words come over the radio, I felt like I did in that locker room. Our orders were to step up activity. It was the opening whistle. We won that game 7-0. Army barely gave us an inch. We limped off the field, beaten raw as if by savages. Like that game, I could smell this was going to be one of those kinds of fights. So now we've got to level 2 with the Gaulists. We've unlocked some extra weapons and such which is really cool and now we just need to pick a region to add to uh, the one that i really like is the xp for missions so getting that early on is nice but we can of course do normandy uh bass normandy if we want to get the extra double re resistance strength from that in this case we are going to go towards the xp for missions There's a pair of resistance contacts eager to join our little soiree. Right, we have a reprisal. And a reprisal is a German payback against resistance regions. A reprisal will have one of three of its segments destroyed, locking off that region's full strength as well as its ability. Restore damage to repair using repair region tasks. So this is what I was saying about the There's a young Belgian girl army running around doing stuff. A key group. She wants in. I'm told that Lily Pieri here is a crack demolitions expert. Pick your poison, ladies and gentlemen. Who shall we go get? The Krauts are ripping the region apart. We gotta stop them.
but we now need to stop a reprisal. And the only real way that we can stop a reprisal is by getting one of the FFI tokens. To deceive the Germans as to the actual location of D-Day landings, a fictitious first army group led by General Patton is established in southern England facing Calais. In operations codenamed Quicksilver, radio operators fake radio traffic while dummy tanks and landing craft fall the fluffer reconnaissance flights. I really like the flavor in these campaigns as well. There's always a lot of interesting information that you're going to pick up as you go along. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is going to be it for today. And you can see that we are now going to be introduced to uh, two more people. So we can unlock Anna or we can unlock Lily. And I believe they're both female operators that will join your team. And uh, we've got the reprisal mechanics popping up. Get those FI tokens ready to go. And yeah, as you can see, tons to look forward to in Classified France 44. If you would like to pick up the game, it is out now on Steam PS5. Xbox Series X and S. So click the link in the description to check it out for yourselves. That's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.